today I'm going to share with you some information that you may want to know and share with your child at home. If you are a parent, grandparent, auntie, uncle, cousin, and you want to do things at home and have fun activities at home so that your child can learn and can be the very best that he can be, then join me. Thank you. And you can help your child right at home. Yeah, we'll be learning in first grade our basic features of letters and words. They will write and recognize upper and lowercase letters, match letters and sounds, learn and use new words to express thoughts, feelings, and ideas clearly, give information about an event, topic, or an opinion, by drawing, talking, and writing about math skills needed for first grade. Count how many objects are in a group, one by one, and compare it to the other group to figure out which is greater or less than the other. Add and subtract numbers one through 10. Use objects to show how to break up numbers less than or equal to 10 in more than one way. These skills will help your child, again, to be confident when they come to school and they will be excited about learning, especially if you set up an environment for them to learn at home. This book is called Math Computations, Problems, and uh, Solving. And you count the dots and that equals four. So these, one, two, three, four, equal four. And you put the number there. And the same on this. Phonics book also has my name on it. A lot of teachers like to use this book. And again, we are talking about the sharp eye and how the sharp eye sound. And they will see words and pictures with the sharp eye in it. And then on down, we have the long eye. When the child sees words and pictures with the long eye. Again, these are books that you can order from the parent teacher store. You can go on Amazon. And whatever skill you know that your child is working on, that's what uh, you will order for them. And these are books that you can make with short and long vowels so your child can read and formulate their own book. Sharp vowel sound book. Sight words. These are sight words that you're checking on. When you start learning your sight words in kindergarten. And somehow or another, I end up buying two of these sight words, part two. Guess I really like that. And here's another phonics review where the children are learning to not only know and identify their alphabets, but knowing what the alphabet sounds like and putting their alphabets together and formulating words that make sense in a sentence. These are all the things that your child can work on at home to help them with their reading and math at home for first grade. Ma'am, do you have a second grader at home? This is what your second grade child should be working on and learning in second grade. More in-depth reading and comprehension skills. Of course, decoding, able to read the words fluently, gaining further understanding and correct use of nouns and verbs, learning multiple meanings of words, how to write a story with a clear beginning, middle, and end, adding and subtracting more quickly and accurately, solving more challenging word problems in math, telling time, understanding units of time, understanding the virus physical and chemical changes in matter, distinguishing between human wants and needs, and learning national symbols, historical places, and holidays. And I have a very, very cute book here on maps. You read the passage here, and then you answer the questions. And 
if you feel challenged with this, there is a, an answer key in the back to make sure you're teaching your child at home the correct information. Map skills. I also have some more flashcards. And these are subtraction flashcards. On the card is the answer. But the answer is on the back. And this is when you can pull out popsicle sticks, uh, beads, or whatever you need to use to get seven objects and have them to take away four. So they would know what that answer is. So these flashcards again, dollar, and your child can learn to subtract. They have number identification, so your child will understand what the numbers look like. And also, we have the subtractions, addition cards, division cards. I think I have some division cards to share with you with our upper grades. Again, phonics, addition and subtraction by second grade. Here's your stories, what comes first, second, and third in sequential order, workbook, sequences. All the things for second grade you can have right there at home. And how word families, where you put word families together. Here's the workbook. All of these words have the same sound in them. These are called word families. For an example, the sound is aid, blade, fade, grade, jade, made, shade, spade, and wade. Word families, long A, long vowel, word families. More phonics. Second grade math skills. And some of the books may be a little challenging. Like uh, here, you have two digit addition, two numbers that you're adding. Look further in the back. We have clocks. Telling time. And counting money. This is everything that they basically need to know in second grade. A one little fun workbook that you could work with your child at home to build their confidence. Number facts from 1 to 20. So much fun. The children really love these, and these have little stories to go along with them. You'd be surprised. The children really, really love these things. More reading comprehension. And this is a little bit more in detail for the older children. Word families again for short vowels. For an example. This is the sound of ip. Dip, hip, lip, rip. Tip, zip, ship, hip. Word families. Synonyms and antonyms. And this is some simple reading comprehension, okay, for second grades. All right. And here's a reading passage. All about trucks. And down here, you answer the questions. And then you color after you read, decode, and then comprehend what the passage is saying and then answer the questions correctly. These are fun ways to teach your child at home their academic skills for second grade. And oh, don't think I forgot, on all my videos, what do I say? Drink plenty of water. And let's be the best that we can be. I will see you later. Bye.